pink eye. If y'all was watching the last two vlogs and y'all know what's going on with that light, y'all don't say nothing about the light. to guide me yeah you want me to raise it up more no nah, however if you think it's fine it's good <laughs> no nah, it should be good so we made it down but only if y'all seen what happened when we tried to get up y'all we definitely damaged the front end so i'm gonna have to get a new spitter for this thing but this thing a race car, man. This car I'll beat the fuck up. That's what we got the vent for, y'all. We got the vent so we can literally... I see why you be nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the vent, though. Just just, just to be pretty, so... Yeah, this is the ugly car. Until this season is over, y'all, it's gonna stay like this, but I definitely need to redo my paint on the front and redo my splitter now, y'all. I'm definitely gonna need a new splitter, so I might just need a whole new bumper for this car. Y'all see what's going on, man. We finally got this thing off. If y'all watch my last vlog, then y'all know what we doing, y'all. We need to get some testing, and we need to get some logs done with this car. So we got the pretty, pretty snow camo and pink thing right here, y'all. And we got the Z06 vet right here that Ed is driving, y'all. Very clean. I need one of these eventually, y'all. Whenever I get enough money, I'll have one of these. Hopefully, y'all can give me some views and more subscribers so I can buy one of these. But yeah, man, he finna go in there and do his thing, log it, or not log it, but connect his laptop in there, his HP tuner's device and all that so we can get some logs. Look how menacing she look right now, y'all. She look crazy. So if y'all paid attention to that last vlog, I told y'all we need to do some logs. We need to do some testing because, y'all, she was spinning. I don't know if it was the top of the gear or we were just making too much power, y'all, too much boost and she was spinning so yeah y'all can literally see that in a race when it was like making that weird like what what what, what noise do i want to call it it was like uh it kind of sounded like it was if it sounded like them they're like a two-step y'all it was like putting real bad but that's because if we were spinning so we finna log it but we're gonna put some boost out of what i think the the lower end really just put some more power at the top end so we're gonna do i think a 40 and a 50 today y'all just to see what's going on and uh we just gonna go from there, y'all. So I did have a race tomorrow, y'all. If y'all seen that last race, where I just beat that vet. Another car from that same shop was trying to race now, really because he mad I got the car from his shop, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. And the funny thing is, the same car that I'm talking about, for sure, making more power than me, y'all. He's way lighter than me, and he still don't want to give me my race. I'm starting to notice that a lot of people are scared of this car because nobody really want to race. It was literally multiple group chats. A lot of cars from different shops talking crazy when my car was in the shop but now my car is back nobody want to race at all y'all nobody want to give me a fair race the only cars that is talking crazy or acting like they still want to race is cars that's literally in double digits on the wheel you know to the wheel so yeah i don't even know how much this car is making i only raced that last vet just to see where i was at because i seen his dyno y'all and i don't want nobody to think i'm capping he definitely was making the power i told y'all so i'm gonna drop that clip of his car at the dyno in his vlog just so y'all can see i'm not lying
So obviously with that car and making that much power, y'all, me gapping him like that, I know for a fact people gonna be scared. People are already acting scared of this car when they haven't even seen what it's did yet. So I know once this race is out, it's gonna scare a lot of people away. I really don't even wanna post it for that reason because I want some races, y'all. I wanna have fun, but for some reason in Michigan, nobody like doing fair races, y'all. Like I said, the only people that's calling me out is people that's way faster or people that's been had their car that's been built, y'all. Again, I just got my car back. I haven't even had it for a week, y'all. So yeah, man, we're gonna do some logs and we're gonna see what's going on. Just, just so everything is fine, y'all. So yeah, this is the thing I was telling y'all about uh, when I was saying I need to really get back into remembering how to log. I did it one time last year, but other than that, I really haven't did it again. So yeah, Ed in here trying to help me out a little bit and he gave me a little ex extension. That way I could uh, do it a different way. So yeah, man, huge shout out to Ed for coming and clutching. Helping me get this done tonight, y'all. This is what I was talking about, y'all. I literally smashed the front end. I am so pissed about that, y'all. Look how far deep that is. It fucked the wrap up and everything. Not only right there, y'all. I did it right here. And I even got some of my black wrap. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna redo this black wrap anyways. But this front splitter is killing me, y'all. This shit kind of kind of pissed me off and i know if i redo this wrap you won't really see it like that so i'm gonna really get that pink redid yeah i'm gonna have to do something about that because that's deep as fuck y'all that really kind of pissed me off but this ain't what today's vlog is about y'all we need to get some logs we need to get this thing running right because and i got a lot of people talking crazy even though people acting scary i definitely need to stay prepared and ready to race so look at that damn light shut this door for me I'm just gonna have to turn the light back to white when I go do these pulls so it's not tweaking like that. But I told y'all, it only do that when it's automatic and when it's dark. So that won't really happen during the daytime, y'all. Need to go ahead and put some of this in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while he's doing what he's doing. Let's see if we start, if it start up with the key since Ed got the laptop in there. Yep. Still did. All right, we finna go in here and do a 40 roll, y'all. This is the first time we're ever gonna do a 40 roll, y'all. We haven't did a 40 roll yet. Me and CJ actually just fixed this uh, seat belt today, y'all, finally. So y'all can hear the fan was just on and I'm not gonna lie y'all earlier when we was hauling the car up or when I was putting the car up on the trailer I literally heard it too and I was scared but it wasn't throwing no codes none so I'm like it's really fine it's probably just the fan because the AC on for the killer chiller comes to find out y'all I need a whole new thermostat y'all I never upgraded the thermostat and I definitely should have did it making all this damn power now so yep this thing was overheating literally in the middle of the pool or right during the pool it started overheating luckily we turned it off just in time but we couldn't really test how he wanted to test but the car is still alive and it's still in one piece so i guess tomorrow we're gonna be putting the thermostat on for this vlog so i might just add that on today's vlog y'all since today's vlog was very quick but again huge shout out to my boy clayton for helping me haul this thing up here now i know i got somebody that can always take me wherever i need to go when i don't want to drive this thing y'all so that's what's going on tonight y'all it was a fail but again this could have happened literally during the race or right before a race and thank god it didn't happen when i was going on the race so but tomorrow we're gonna be back at it with a new thermostat until i order one from too high psi so I can see we right back the very next day fixing the zero one as I told y'all we needed a new thermostat. I ended up calling the shop this morning, y'all, and I ended up getting one. And my boy C they just helped me install it. Y'all really wasn't hard. It was only three 
what three little bolts you had to undo to put it in so usually we would what drain a coolant but the good thing about this now is i don't have no gm gasket so it really don't matter which coolant i use so i ended up using the same coolant that he has so we didn't have to stop to go get none now we got to start this thing up and see if that's the actual problem y'all because if it's still not running right or if it's still overheating that means it's something else but Yeah, the temps look fine. Only like it's getting hot at all. All right, y'all. We going back in. Let's see if everything fine. We have to bleed some out because there was too much in there. Pray to God, y'all. Pray to God. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> pray that it was just that weak ass nervous day, y'all. That's not the right time. But I'm still gonna wait, guys. It says 846. We're gonna let it run until like 850 and see what's going on. this thing around the corner for a, just to get a little test drive y'all just to make sure it don't start overheating is it moving y'all look like it's going a little higher is it moving or am i just scared y'all i might be just scared because i went through this one time when my thermostat went bad back when my car was way slower Pull it up too. Yeah, looks like we still fine, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I think we may be good, y'all. We might be good. The fan not on. So I did notice, y'all, when I first started up yesterday. The fan was on before I even put it on the trailer, y'all, so. I think we good, y'all, 100%. I don't know if you know, my thermostat went bad yesterday. My hands is all dirty, man. He was just working on your shit? Yeah, so my thermostat went bad last night, so I'm testing my shit. I just put a new one in. 
And I'm like, I'm trying to drive it around just to see. And I'm like, let me pull up that Josh shit. Is he gonna come to the race or you're gonna be busy, bruh? Is he gonna come to the race tonight or you're gonna be busy, bruh? Yeah, I don't know. Y'all going today? Oh, yeah. Man, I need that camera bad, bruh. About to take this bitch back up the block. Oh shit. Yeah, so I just let this thing run for a few minutes. That's why I wanted to pull up on Josh just so I could let this bitch sit. But I'm about to take it back around the corner, y'all. Hit a U-turn like it's legal. Why this dude following me? I don't know if they think I'm finna step on her or what. If I step on her, I'm gonna lose all traction. time and i put some more in here just to make sure it wasn't a leak so yeah the car is back fine y'all we definitely need another thermostat the reason why is because the type of power i'm making y'all I, I need a certain one specifically we never got it obviously so we gonna rock this one out this oem one pie until this one go bad again but i'm gonna really just order that uh the one i actually need just so i got it you know on standby for backup whenever i need it so zero one is back ready like i was trying to say earlier y'all do have a race tonight and my car not even dialed in but Again, y'all know me, bro. I really don't give a damn. I've been without my car for so long. I really just want to race, y'all. And the funny thing about this whole race is the same car is coming from the same shop that I just beat that Maroon C6 from. So what happened was I beat that car. And after that, my boy Gary, that's in our group chat, was yapping about my car, y'all. I guess that whole shop was talking about my car. And it was really just talking shit about my car. So I woke up the next morning. And I told him, why is you talking about my car when I'm literally in the same group chat as you? You could just say something to me. And that's what people be doing nowadays, y'all. People just be yapping mouth all the time this vet been running way longer than my car y'all this vet is making way more power than my camaro is making and i still don't care the thing is here i've been talking shit all these months y'all literally the whole winter since my car was in the shop he been talking shit because he knew my car was in the shop he knew i couldn't race him when i wanted to so now that my car is back i'm like fuck it i'm gonna race him even though i know he's faster even though i know he's lighter y'all again the zr1 is a highway king y'all like this car is built it's not a stock bottom end it's a built bottom end. It got a cam. It got heads. It's literally built better than my car, and I still don't care. I just want to race. Win or lose, y'all want to see where my car is at. You feel me? That was the whole point of me racing that maroon vet from the same shop because I don't know what my car make yet, y'all. We haven't hit the dyno at all. I don't know what it make. All I got is a guess. I'm guessing that it's making low 900. This car that I'm racing for sure is making at least a thousand wheel y'all this car was making 1400 on the bottle but without a bottle i know for a fact it's making around a thousand or eleven so all i want to do is really just test my car and see where it's at and gary was talking shit so i'm really just giving the energy he was looking for so if y'all ready to see a race with an actually fast car man y'all go ahead and stay tuned for my next vlog because that's what we're gonna be doing y'all we're finna be racing the built cr1 even though i feel like that's out of my league y'all still don't care i just want to test to see what my car at win or lose i race this car regardless y'all really don't give a damn so just stay tuned for that next vlog man i'm happy that we got the the marrow back running and now you know i know if it overheat again i just need a number th another thermostat so i'm gonna go ahead thug it out shit get prepared for this race because it's finna down tonight so y'all let me know what y'all think man i'm real ready to see what my car gonna do versus a fast car y'all it's gonna be a fast car so just stay tuned for the next vlog man i'm gonna see y'all on the next one gang i'm out